A fiddle head is the curly decorative wooden piece on top of a fiddle. Or is it? I'll show you how to clean and cook fiddle heads coming up right now. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up icon. And if you like more of these, please subscribe. I want to know what you would like to see. Just leave me a comment. Today, fiddleheads. Just like the name implies, these riverbank greens that look like fiddleheads are harvested all over the maritime provinces. A fantastic source of antioxidants, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acid. It's not advisable to go looking for fiddleheads if you have no experience. Some are poisonous. Best to get them at a farmer's market. These are the beginnings of a fern and are packed with flavor and very healthy. Easy to cook, but time consuming to prepare. I'll start off with about two pounds of fresh fiddleheads. When it comes time to trim the fiddleheads, first of all, I like to dump them in water, rinse out the bowl, have it ready. Give them a good pat down. You'll see we have a fiddlehead here. All you do is just trim off the bottom, make it nice and clean, and go from there. You don't want the woodiness of the fiddlehead. Remember, these are harvested in the wild, so they will pick up all kinds of little bits of dirt. Just a little bit of brownness on the end from where it was cut in the wild. And here we have our clean fiddleheads, all ready for the pot. Once your fiddleheads are cleaned, put in a pot of cold water and bring the heat up to medium high. Add a splash of lemon juice to preserve the color, as well as some salt. Boil for about 10 minutes, or until they are tender. You will see that the water turns brown. Don't panic, this is still more of the cleaning that takes place. Using a strainer or slotted spoon, remove the cooked fiddleheads to a strainer to let drip for a few minutes. Then serve. These are enjoyed with a pat of butter, some salt and pepper. There's one of my favorite springtime sides, wild fiddleheads. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you would like to see a particular recipe or topic, as always, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be putting new content on this site weekly. And if you want more information, you can head over to the personalchef.blog where you can print the recipes presented here and I add new content every other day. Thank you for watching and I look forward to helping you eat healthier, shop smarter, and cook better.